I know I've gone over this before in my next class season one doesn't suck video, but I feel the need to address the Zoe and Grace relationship again, or as I super phrase it, the lack thereof. It's a very common thing that I see posted on the subreddit complaining about how the writers shoehorned in a Grace crushing on Zig thing and teased the relationship between Grace and Zoe but didn't do so. I rather disagree with this criticism. For one, the most popular phrasing of this criticism is essentially the writers did something that I didn't like. And that's where all the support for the criticism starts and ends. I often see it explained as Zoe and Grace were so good, but then the writers had to change the story or something to that effect. Which kind of really doesn't make sense because the writers are always in control of the story. A story doesn't just flow naturally and then some pesky writer steps in and says, no, I want this couple to they're not the obvious one. 100% of the time, the writers are crafting the narrative, so essentially it all boils down to the writers just did something that I didn't like. And okay, that's fine, you can dislike how the story went and what the writers thought would be a good idea, but that's not really a criticism or an explanation as to why the choice itself was bad. And in this particular case, it seems that being upset over the desired pair not being OTP is getting in the way of appreciating the story that they did tell. They've already done something to where two people of the same gender have wonderful chemistry, but it's uncertain if they actually have feelings for each other. What they haven't done is a pair who go really well together, but one just doesn't feel the same way for the other. It's fascinating to watch Grace try to reciprocate Zoe's feelings just because she's someone so close and she doesn't want their friendship to be ruined because she's just not gay. And then seeing the culmination of these attempts come down to, I just simply can't force myself to love you like that. And as I said, this is fascinating because Degrassi really hasn't done something like this before, and also because a lot of people can relate to this. Sometimes you just find yourself in a position where someone feels a lot more for you than you do for them. And as in real life, Grace can't just force herself to like Zoe in that way, even if they get along spectacularly. And saying that she should just try dating a girl is just as offensive as telling a transgender person that they should just try being the gender that their sexual parts say they are. And as for her crush on Zig, I'll cite my previous video as to why this crush isn't unbelievable because it came out of nowhere. Coming out of nowhere is part of what makes it realistic for Grace. She doesn't really talk about herself. Hell, look how long it took us to find out that she has CF, and especially considering that the guy she likes was dating her best friend at the time, why would she tell anyone that she had a crush on him? Grace is not a boyfriend stealer, and she too much values the lack of drama in her life to reveal to anyone about her feelings. That is, except for Zoe, because she thought she could trust Zoe. All this to say, I don't really get the problem here except that the show veered in a direction that not a lot of people liked. It doesn't make it inherently bad or poor storytelling. However, if you have a different reason for disliking this storyline that I did not address, please feel free to put it in the comments. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video responding to your criticism. But until then, I think I've said my piece on the topic. Thank you so much for consuming this video and a bit of housekeeping, I will be at BronyCon this year. The convention runs from July 27th through the 29th and during the hours that the vendor hall is open, I'm going to be helping out at the Traveling Pony Museum booth, but I'll also be there all weekend just sort of walking around. So if you see me, feel free to say hi. And for those who are not going to be attending BronyCon, you can find me on Twitter at NotVampire. I'm happy to talk about Steven Universe, Degrassi, musicals, almost anything. And like with YouTube, I do respond when I've got something to say just might take me a little while to do so. Thank you very much for consuming this video and until next time.